cameras affixed to one man. He scored four in his last three. What will he produce today? The action is next on EA TV. And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on live action from Italy's top division, Serie A. It's Cagliari up against Milan. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. That's a very fine piece of tackling. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Zappa. Oh, good use of the ball. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. Well, this is a meeting of true opposites. On the one hand, the hosts with the worst goal-scoring record in the league. On the other, the visitors who know how to defend better than anyone, Stuart. Well, Derek, don't be quite so gloomy. Today might be the day they start to come out of their shell and play with energy, skill and invention. Let's just hope we see a decent game. Chukwese. On the ball, Chukwese. Benassa. Well, we can give them high marks for their passing, but can they make this pressure count? Cutting it back. Nicely blocked. Waldschmidt. Sigurdsson. Atsidiakos has it. Good challenge and a throw in coming up. Really fine play to keep possession. And possession given away. Gertrauda. Tomori. Gertrauda with it. Benassa. Rafael Leao. Sané. Well, they need to get tighter. He has time to play it over. And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. Bosena. And Temes Hatsidiakos. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Well, this is the home of live football and we have more action from Serie A coming up here on EA TV. It's Milan taking on Salernitana. Well, possibilities in the centre. How to play it goes. Goal kick.
to Kueze. Fikayo Tomori. And Milan moving the ball with purpose. To take the lead. Really sound defending. But it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. And fed forwards. Is it going to be? And you've just witnessed a moment of truly high-class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. And over comes the corner. And a simple clearance, a good one. Oh, the threat is there. It should be. And it's in. 1-0. They've breached the defence. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. Well, he has to get his team plan again. This isn't going to plan. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? 20 minutes to go in this one. Sigurdsson. Top class defending. It's a promising Milan move. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Zappa. Dosena. Well, it hasn't been a great performance, but the fans have been brilliant. Just listen to the noise. Can the players respond and find this equaliser? Chasing this game, desperate for a leveller. Oh, great attacking play. A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent their last chance to grab an equaliser. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. And there's the delivery. Oh, stopped on the line! I'm trying to build ahead of steam. Another corner it'll be. Delivering it. Well, really, it had to be further away from the keeper. So, two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Can he finish them off? And you've got to credit that magnificent piece of defending. Now we can say it's final, and we can say that Milan have officially prevailed. I wonder what you felt about their overall performance. Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory.
Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, how can you stop him? If you get too tight, he'll use the space behind you, drop off and he'll turn and run at you. Add that to his movement in the box and you can see why he scored so many goals. Stay with us on EA TV. And hello from one of the great venues in world football, the San Siro in the city of Milan. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on Serie A, the top division here in Italy. It's Milan, and they take on Salernitana. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Can he put them ahead? Blocking it. Chance to finish. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. Well, that reaction says it all. That's such an important goal in this game. So underway again here, 1-0 the score. Matteo Lovato. Lovato. And pressing from the front. Luigi Seppe. It was a good result for Milan in the last game against Cagliari. What do you anticipate seeing this time, Stuart? Well, Derek, the table doesn't lie, does it? So far, they've been the best team in the league. They play good football, have an excellent coach, and I'm expecting more of the same again today. A super tackle, and they've won possession. Koulibaly. Marash Kumbula. Kumbula. Pablo Rosario has it. Pablo Rosario. Kumbula Mali prevented it from going over the line the referees letting it go as they keep the ball Boule Dia they couldn't maintain possession Yunus Musa on the ball Rafael Leao will it be and that a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again trying to deliver it accurately well they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner Can someone get on the end of this? Well, another corner, hot on the heels of the last one. Well, Peely knows that was the chance to control things here. He can't believe it, can he? Able to clear the danger, at least for now.
Pablo Rosario. Well, the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at the San Siro. Well, Milan in front after the first 45 minutes, but a long way from being decided. Leal. Oh, that's fine defensive play. More football from Serie A coming up here on EA TV. It's Salernitana versus Parma. I'm really looking forward to that. Two entertaining teams in what should be a really feisty affair. Novato. Pablo Rosario. Matteo Novato. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Leao, he must finish! And there it is! A two-goal cushion now! And they just need to keep the concentration. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. Well, Pierre has to be proud of his team after that goal. They're in real control of the game now. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Pablo Rosario. Lovato. Diata. And into the last 20 minutes. Well, it's a tall order as they try to pull one back, but their passing game might help. Just wasn't going to part with the ball. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, unfortunately, it fizzled out in the end. Could reduce the deficit. Oh, dear. That moment might come back to haunt them. A bad miss. You sense that had to go in if they're to turn this around. They simply haven't been at the races today. Superb looking pass. Chukweze. Oh, managing to beat him. And a touch of finesse. Oh, off the line. Well, the seconds are ticking away and the home side in control. Stuart, what have you made of this? Yeah, clearly the better side. Obviously being fantastic up front, but it's their work ethic for me. They're just not happy unless they have the ball and they're fighting to win it back whenever they do lose it. It's been a really great performance all round. So there it is, the final whistle, and it's going to be recorded as a win for the Rossoneri. What did you think of their performance in this game? Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them.
it is for real. The tactics and squad strengths have been analysed by committed fans and neutral observers to the nth degree. A confrontation that all football lovers will revel in, knowing that we might be about to witness a simply unmissable occasion. Who will come out on top? Rain in the forecast, rain is what we have, but the players will have to deal with it here at the San Siro. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And what we have on the menu for you is the final group stage game in the Champions League. It's Milan, and they take on Shakhtar Donetsk. Well, thanks, Derek. If Milan perform well, they could top this group today, and that has to be their aim. They've been really good so far. Well, this is what you call passing with confidence. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. They had to react and did. Well, after the turn of events last time out, the home side know full well they're guaranteed a safe passage into the knockout stages. Well, they've qualified, which is great, but they'll still want to put in another good performance today, especially in front of these fans. Stepanenko. Zubkov. Well, it's a good-looking position. Is there a goal in the future? An important interception. It is a decent-looking attack here. And a wretched cross, really, over everyone. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Zubkov. Stepanenko still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead but not forcing it can he give them the advantage a good and fair challenge and that puts them in position oh could be a chance They keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Oh, that's a... Could be! And there it is! The opening goal, 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. So back underway, and here's the question, can Milan articulate the right reply? Musa. Good use of advantage by the referee. Takes aim. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long, and this match is level again. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. Well, that picture says it all. His team are back in the game now. Back underway, level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. Here's Kramer. It's with Matvienko. 
and the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Well, there it is, 45 minutes remaining in the group stage and confirmation that if the scores remain as they are now, they'll be going through as group winners. And I think they deserve to win this group. They've been the best team and today we've seen why. That was a really good first 45 minutes from them. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. He's in here. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Let's take another look. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? It's a great turn and shot. What a good goal that is. Well, 2-1 it is here. Well, the speculation has been out there for a while now, but if the rumours are to be believed, Inter could be on the verge of getting their man, Stuart. Yes, this has been going on for some time now, so no great surprise, really. Hopefully, we'll know more in the next few days. Matt Vienko. Here's Castillo. Matt Vienko. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. And he's won the ball. Gertrauda. Now with Tapsoba. Musa. And a goal has gone in in one of the other matches. Alex Scott will tell us more. Yes, it's a goal for Borussia Dortmund. They're now behind by one with 67 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Now sending it in. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Well, that's just what he wanted. He has to be happy with this performance. They've been good today. So back underway, 3-1 the score. But it should be a Serie A game to savour. You can see it live with us here on EA TV. It's Milan and they'll be facing Cremonese. Matt Vienko. Oh, great play. Could play it in. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Now counter-attacking possibilities. Chukwese. This looks more than decent. Well, strong play here. Has the strength to hang on to it. Oh, it might be. And putting his body on the line. And he read it well defensively. Stepanenko. 
And we are going to have two additional minutes. There goes the final whistle. And it doesn't get much better than this for them, Stuart, in the group stage. Top spot is theirs. Well, over the course of this group, they've been the best team. They've played some attractive football, they've worked hard to win the ball back, and they deserve to be top dogs.